Hello, hello, hello there and welcome to Catherine's Garden and Home. I always love coming out early in the morning. It's around 7 o'clock this morning, this Sunday morning, and just uh, observing the garden. And uh, it's just looking so beautiful. Everything is just looking so good. My husband cut the grass, so the grass is uh, freshly cut. And I went through and did some uh, weeding out and cutting back and pulling out of things and just trying to get everything set up for this next month ahead. I am in the city, so I don't know if you hear it, but the cleaning truck is going through and uh, just getting that extra debris and water and things like that because that storm was amazing last night. It was very much um, so full of, of um, the thunderstorms, the lightning, and the the thunder and the rain the amount of rain that we received it was um, very intense and so I think they're just picking up any debris but the garden fared well and uh, it's looking so refreshed this morning So I pulled up the snap peas and I'm going to save these pods, the ones that are fairly dry, just leave them up here to dry out and um, oh, just make sure that I buy snap peas next year. But yeah, they were delicious and this has allowed me to have now space to grow some kale, to actually plant some kale seeds so I'm excited about this it was an effort but I did it hello hello there and welcome to Catherine's garden and home where we grow 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 together well today is the last Sunday in July and soon we will be heading right into August to the real peak of harvesting and gathering and enjoying the last of the summer days. Well, I'm excited about doing that, but first I need to go into my kitchen garden and update it. So come with me as I visit that area and show you what I did. Yes, I cleaned out some of that area and there's still so much more to do because because of the rains, it's been raining so well here in the Northeast that I have been able to uh, see things grow so well. The, the vegetables are growing and things are just getting better and better and higher and taller. And so I've had to do a lot of pulling out, weeding, and things like that. So I'm excited to show you all of this great progress here at Catherine's Garden and Home where we grow, 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 grow together. So I'm going to show you where this, uh, these beans were and what I did in the kitchen garden area. But also we want to enjoy the flowers because the flowers are just popping and things are just looking so good in the garden. So come with me as we tour around and enjoy the last day or last Sunday of July. And soon we'll be saying hello August. But in the meantime, let's enjoy today. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Catherine's Garden and Home, where we grow, 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 grow together. Well, this is the last Sunday in the month of July. We made it here to the last Sunday, and last night we had such um, 
thunderstorms and rain and the amount of water that fell. Uh, it was amazing. But we are now in the morning and everything is looking um, refreshed and revived even from all of that water. But what I want to show you today is the fact that I did get started on cleaning the kitchen garden area. Um, after filming it and uh, seeing what it looked like yesterday, so if you didn't watch Saturday's um, video, a garden tour, um, then take a look at it and you'll see what that area looked like. And so I did pull up the snap dragons, um, the snap peas, sorry, the snap peas, and um, put them on the table here to dry out. But then the rains came and wet everything down, which is fine because I picked the peas that were dry and um, I have them in a, a different location inside so that I can see if I can save some of these snap peas because these peas were so delicious, so delicious, and I really enjoyed them. So what I'm going to do is take it off of the trellis and just think about what I want to do next with the trellis. But it was just really beautiful uh, to have these snap peas there because I was able to eat. Oh, they were so delicious. I was able to eat them and just enjoy them as I um, was, anytime I was working in that area, in the kitchen area, I was able to eat the snap peas. And you can see them here, see? Look at that. Just delicious, the pods. Um, just enjoyed them. And I think I wanna just enjoy these too as well. <laughs> Um, there are a number still here. So I'm going to take you over to that area so that you can see what I did. And also just look at how everything is just looking so fresh and beautiful here in the garden. Something that I've noticed though is that here with my basil, because it has been raining so consistently that I need to fertilize these uh, basil uh, because they are um, not as green as I would think that they need to be. I think they're missing uh, that nutrient that will green them up. Like, look at this. Now, so the, this is a dry pod. I'm going to leave it here, let it dry out and see if I could save the seeds here of that. But yeah, back to the basil. But the basil is so delicious. And I have been using it in my cooking um, with sandwiches and so forth. Just putting it on top of my fish. And um, it has been really a wonderful herb. I use that. Um, I got the seeds from the Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just sprinkled it out. And they have just been uh, such a wonderful, wonderful part uh, to my cooking. It just adds such flavor. And then over here I have um, the cinnamon basil, which is doing great. And some other herbs and, and things growing here in my bowl. So this has turned out to be a really good thing to have on the deck. My um, look at my cilantro here and um, I, I'm really happy with this deck arrangement with having the herbs and things so close by and, um, and that I can use them for cooking. On the last Sunday of July. I am just so happy to be able to be in my garden and to see it flourishing like this and even after all of that rain it's such a beautiful place to be. Uh, it's so calm and nice and yes my garden is my therapy. I, I just love when the grass has been cut 
and everything is just so neatly in place even though it has a wild kind of cottagey look to it i like it like that because what happens is that it allows nature to have its own way in the garden but yet it's still framed by me so my garden has its own character i really love it i love my garden and i'm happy to share it with you I'm glad that you are able to come and be a part of Catherine's garden and home and I'm glad that you decided to hit that um, button and click on it so that you could share this joy with me so yes if you have not subscribed to Catherine's garden and home what is keeping you back come on hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell for more videos and enjoy this summer season of 2023 with me here at Catherine's garden and home where we grow 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 together one thing I'm, I'm very thankful for is that the air is so cool and fresh here this morning And it's like everything could breathe. It's just, oh, if you were here, you'd feel the cool breeze in the morning, the fresh breeze. It's just really beautiful. And I'm just thankful for this. Everything is just looking so good. I love it after the rain. I am just so happy with this container. Um, it is so full and lush with the petunias the mint that is variegated pineapple mint and it just became a spiller <laughs> you know how they say that you have the um the fillers the spillers and the thrillers well it has just become a spiller and i do love these petunias uh, that are purple the striped purple and let me just draw it a little closer so that you can see what I'm talking about. Isn't that beautiful? I love the rich color of that petunia. And then we have um, it c combining with the um, mint the pineapple mint and then i love my um proven winners <laughs> i really am gonna have to get this again look at that i just love the colors of course they're a little wet and um but just pretty and then with the the impatience in the middle uh, that solid color just looks really really good um the one thing that i wish it kind of grow and um, become a little more uh, full would be the coleus I love the coleus color there but it's still it's still time for it to develop and fill out a little bit more but right now look at this I just love how this looks And it is so attractive with this side border and the cannas. And I can see clearly from the deck uh, every morning I just get a lot of pleasure from peering over the deck and seeing this side of the garden.
if you uh, watched my video for the last Saturday in July, you would know that this area was just congested with bindweed and all kinds of um, other things and it was just looking so terrible. <laughs> And this is the entrance to my kitchen garden area. So uh, what I did yesterday was that I cleaned up this area and pulled off all of the bindweed off of this this uh, maple tree that I'm kind of creating like a bonsai effect with it. And now you get to see also my fig tree here returning and looking a little more free to breathe. <laughs> so um, here is the entrance in and um, yes we have the pumpkins trailing through and I still have more work to do on that in this area here but it's so much more easier to see and to enter in to this space. So what I did was I moved the mint. This is one of my mints, um, ginger mint here. And then I cleaned up the collard greens because they were doing really well here after all. They were holy. <laughs> so I cleaned up the collard greens and removed the leaves that were being attacked by um, whatever bug or slug. And I actually found a slug here um, in one of these containers here. Oh. This is my oregano that got toppled over from the rain here. But I put it here um, and it's supporting these plants. Like, and here is the um, cabbage. As you can see, it's holy cabbage. But um, we'll see what happens with that. So I have here the collard greens and um, supporting them and they look good. Check out the leaves. I have one, two, really nice plants there. I have two cabbages and two more collard greens and then this is my um, cinnamon basil that I grew from seed and it is looking good here. Then I have a pumpkin that's growing up and it's growing into the tree which is fine and I have the tomato tomato this is either the 100s or the sun gold um, I think it's called sunny gold um, but when I'm hoping to see some pumpkins developing here in this area The other thing that I did was I removed right here was the um, snapdragons and I removed them from this area. And here you can see the mint and also one, one of my tomato plants that I'm going to need to um, stake up. Um, it's falling over now. But this is the kale from last year. and. They have been, I saved them, I saved the kale because um, I wanted to save the seeds. So in this spot right here, what I want to do is um, plant some fresh kale. And it's going to be easy because the seeds from the seed pods here, I've been shaking the seeds out and I believe that they will self-sow. 
but um, that's my next goal though is to clean this area up some more and plant some fresh kale seeds but check out this look at that isn't that beautiful So I'm going to have to find some kind of support. I have the support here for these tomatoes, but find a way of um, keeping it up. Maybe leaning it on one another. We'll see how I can do this. Yeah, maybe allowing it to rest on that. Well, and then here, this is um, the carrots, and I want to harvest some carrot seeds. So I'm, I'm plus I love the flowers. You know I love flowers, right? Look at the carrot flower. I just think it's so pretty and delicate here. So that was my beginning. I just wanted you to see what I did. And now I have a pathway out. And we're able to help the airflow in this section. And now that the rain has come and actually cleaned off everything, it just looks so good. And the next task would be to continue to um, clean out this area. And it smells so good here because of the mint. The, the spirit, this is, I think, chocolate mint or peppermint, one or the other, that's here growing. And when I step in this area, it just smells so good. So, this is pretty much this area. Doesn't it look pretty? I just love it. And I'm so glad that I came through and set the, the um, collard greens free. Because uh, they, uh, they are so delicious and I do enjoy having them. Alright, so I also have over here my uh, cucumber plant. And I'm hoping to get some nice cucumbers from them. And then the tomatoes and the squash. I don't know what's going on with this, with the pumpkins, but we shall see. So I have some more cleaning out to do. Like this whole pathway needs to be cleaned out. And uh, I need to cut back this hedge of stuff that's just growing out of control there. But I am happy. I am happy with what I see and what I did. And I just wanted you to see this. And that's just exactly how one has to deal with the garden. It's just section by section, a little bit at a time. Don't overwhelm yourself because then you'll become discouraged and you won't want to do anything because it looks like such a heavy task. But don't be discouraged. So thank you so much. Let's go up and take a look at what's happening in the front garden. And we'll just take a look at how nice it is and calm this Sunday, the last Sunday of July. This section uh, fared well and um, 
Some of the things are toppled over, but overall, it's looking good. Just really happy with how these marigolds are just growing and filling up this space. And my elephant ear, nothing happened to it. And the pumpkin is just traveling. And I'm glad that I cleared out this area a little bit more. I am so happy to see my hibiscus. Yeah, it's really blooming and it's um, releasing more and more of the flowers. That's a good thing. The amaranth had toppled over from the weight and so it is kind of leaning in but what I want to do is cut it down a little bit, cut it back a little bit because behind that there is my other hibiscus which is right there and it has buds on it. I wanted to get the sun. And then here I have um, a Rose of Sharon. And you can see that it is um, let's move back a little bit. The Rose of Sharon has buds on it. Uh, about to flower. So it needs some, um, it needs some space. But isn't this pretty, the amaranth? I hope you can see this. It is so pretty. But I do need to cut it back a little bit so that the other plants back there can get some air and help the air flow. But let's just enjoy hibiscus if you enjoyed this video why don't you uh, like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos and also we come on on Wednesdays at 5 30 p.m. here at Catherine's garden and home and we do lives then as well but also, I just want to keep you up to date on what's happening in my garden as I go through my garden journey. So thank you so much for joining me here at Catherine's Garden and Home, where we grow, 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 grow together. Bye.